my channel so today I'll be doing a Boxing Day haul but it's rather what I've bought from Boxing Day onwards till now and it's now January 4th so it's not exactly a Boxing Day haul but yeah I've got a lot to get through so let's get started. So we're going to start with eBay. The first thing that I've bought was this little gem. So I have a big problem with paint my nails and it chipping the next day. So I decided to invest in a sun, a sun lamp, a sun UV LED nail lamp. And that was from eBay and it was 14 99 And I also got some nail varnishes. I have already used it. Um, and this one is called Cinnamon Stick. That one's called Cinnamon Stick and the ones that I got were the Halo Gel Polishes and I got a base coat, a top coat, the Cinnamon Stick which is what I have on now and also Apple Red which is as it says Apple Red. So they were my first purchases and I'll link them all in the description down below. The next thing I did was a misguided blowout kind of thing. I mean I only got like four things but it came to about £100. So first thing I got was this Phonics, Phoenix Phonics oversized t-shirt and it's absolutely huge. And I got it in a size small but it's still really oversized so don't get it and go up a size to get it oversized. It's already oversized. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love big t-shirts um, and graphic t-shirts. So this is the top and trousers from Misguided. And I actually wore these yesterday to go out for a meal. Um, and yeah, it's very oversized like I said. It's super oversized and it's only a size small. Um, I think the PU croc print trousers. And I got these in a size 6. But the back of them is like really big. And I'm going to do some videos to show you everything I bought on. But yeah, there's a lot of excess material like here. And I don't usually fit in a size 6 trousers, I'm usually an 8 and I feel like I really should have got 4 in these. So definitely size down on these. Um, but I kept them anyway because I'll probably just work with a, a long t-shirt or a hoodie. So you're not going to see this bit anyway but I, I was a little bit disappointed I couldn't wear with a crop top. And these are the pants. I don't know if you can see but this is what I meant by like this is what I meant by all the excess like it's not very fitted but with something like this top it doesn't really matter um, it's just like cool edgy I guess a little bit and very comfortable perfect to go out for a meal so still on to misguided I got this huge oversized hoodie dress um, basically because I'm still at uni and I feel like this will be really nice in spring when it's a little bit warmer but not warm enough to wear like a little dress so it says misguided on the front in like neon green stitching and it's got a hood and it's just very big but it's like a nice kind of big so it's it like pulls in at the bottom a little bit so it's not just like I don't know it just feels a bit more fitted than other jumper dresses I have and it's not the most flattering jumper but I didn't buy it to be flattering I bought it to be a slob and go to uni and just throw this on so this is the misguided oversized hoodie dress and you can see very neon misguided print it's got nice pockets at the front and I just feel like this would be perfect for uni when it's a bit warmer 
don't want to be getting my legs out when it's this cold at the minute but it'll be super nice with army boots and a jacket over the top and just super slouchy and the last thing I got from Misguided was some super ripped mom jeans they're called Riot High Rise mom jeans and I've got these in blue already and I really love them so I decided to get them in the stony sand colour so as you can see they're super ripped the or distressed I think that's what you call them now distressed jeans um, they're ripped at the bottom one thing about these when you're putting them on your feet get stuck like heels pull on this so that's one thing I would be wary about and I also got these in a size 6 because I've got the other blue ones and I'm a size 6 in those so I knew to order these in a size 6 because they are the, they are the exact same jean but different colours. Now these are the Riot high rise jeans from Misguided so as you can see very very distressed and on the bottom as well but these fit so well I find it very hard to get jeans that fit me on the legs and the waist there's a little bit of room but that's fine that means it's comfortable I really love these so that's it from Misguided and now we're going on to Morphe so if you haven't already watched my Morphe video I did a collaboration with them a few months ago I got invited to their Newcastle store launch I think it was in November and I got given I got gifted palettes um, lip glosses all sorts to try out and I did a video on it so if you haven't already please check it out but this is what made me want these these things from Morphe because I didn't get them at the time and I've been needing some for ages like ages I haven't used these yet I've been waiting to do this video but I'm hoping they're really good because they were quite expensive so I got the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush set and it's a complexion master collection now this was £50 but I got student discount at 20% off so I did actually get it for 40 but still for five brushes I mean you do get the bag too but five brushes in a bag I mean I think that's pretty pricey um, but I've been wanting them forever so. so you get a glittery bag which is very nice and very handy and then these are the brushes I haven't even felt them yet and I've had them for over a week so okay so these are what they look like and you get five brushes this I'm no makeup artist so please correct me if I'm wrong but I think this is a buffer brush for foundation oh I'm happy with that that's very soft we have this one and I think this one's for like packing on powder I've seen people do that before and I think it is so yeah we've got a powder brush not gonna lie no idea what this one's for so I'm gonna have to YouTube it or Google it but yeah no idea but it's super soft so I have an angled brush and I like to use these ones for contour or like powdered contour or bronzer so that's very nice and I'll need that and this one I think is for like concealer and stuff I think I will have to like Google or YouTube what each of these brushes are for or even look on the Morphe website but yeah very happy with these so my next purchases were Gymshark and I've never had gym wear from Gymshark before like ever because it's so pricey I mean I paid the bottoms these are £35 and the top was £25 I think I got a bit of student discount though but still it was it was over £50 for just a set of gym wear um, but I thought I'd give it a go because I'm gonna try and get really fit this year so this will be my motivation spending 50 odd quid on a gym set I have to go to the gym so 
I got the Gymshark flex leggings and long sleeved crop top and I wore them the other day, I'll link a picture here and they're really nice, I mean I'm not too sure they're worth, yeah I don't think they're worth 50 60 pound for the set um 35 pound for a pair of leggings is pretty pricey um that might just be me but if you want well i don't know i have so many gym sets so, so let's say three it's nearly a hundred no well it's nearly a hundred pound for just three pairs of leggings so or it is actually it's over a hundred pound because they're 35 pound each so £105 for three pairs of leggings, maybe not, so I think, I don't think this will be a one-off purchase, but it'll definitely be a treat every once in a while, um, because they are brilliant, they're very nice, very comfortable, but 50 quid for a set, not too sure. So this is the Gymshark set that I got, um, super nice. But I feel like everyone rants and raves about how good they make your bum look. And I'm not too convinced. I mean, I don't know if it's just I've got, like, a not very good bum. But I don't know. I'm just not convinced anyway. But, yeah. They, like, crease in the crotch area. But I feel like that's because they're, like, low. They're, like, below the waist. And I like things up here. So I don't know if I'm just pulling them up too high. It's super comfortable and I'm glad I bought it, but it will be an occasional treat because of how expensive they are. Now going on to the last kind of shop that I've done a little haul in is Primark. So I bloody love Primark. Like, I live in Primark. I'm a student. Primark is my saviour. So first I got similar to the Gymshark top but this was seven pounds a long sleeved crop top um obviously it's not as thick as the Gymshark one because it's so much cheaper but it does the job and it's still comfortable it's you have to put a bra underneath it just like the Gymshark one um, but I was very happy with this, um, super stretchy, super comfortable and breathable. I wore it to the gym yesterday um, and I love it and I got some leggings to match as well which I'll show you next. So these are the leggings that I got to go with that crop top, the grey one and these again so comfortable. I do feel like the Gymshark ones are better quality and these are a bit more stretchy and I did have to keep pulling them up and I got a 6 to 8 an extra small 6 to 8 in Primark which is my usual size and I feel like I would have been squished into a 4 to 6 um, but yeah, love these I'll also insert a picture here as I wore them yesterday but yeah, I love them and these were £10 so a great price for some leggings that I'll wear all the time so this is the Primark set, the first set that I got, um, and yeah, I feel like they're just as good as the Gymshark ones, um, they're nice and high waisted, super stretchy, comfortable, breathable, squat proof, this set was £17 together, and the Gymshark one was 50 something, so I feel like if you're on a budget, this is a perfect gym set for you because it's just great, especially for 17 quid. Next are another pair of gym leggings, but these ones are crap, like rubbish. So they've got no stretch in them and they're different materials all over the leggings, kind of see what they were trying to do, so they were trying to replicate the Gymshark flex leggings where they make your bum look nice and they do all of that like contouring and different colours and things, but this literally, so this material on the bum is stretchier than the black material and on one leg it's like half, not stretchy and 
One's on one bum cheek and the other's on the other. And there's like a seam halfway down the leg. So half of your leg bulges out where the stretch of it is. And the other half's like compact. And it just looks hideous. They're really bad. Um, and these are also in a six to eight. So where these are super tight in some areas and fine in others. The other ones that are also a six to eight from the same place are absolutely fine, if not a little bit big. So, absolute rubbish. I'll be sending these ones back. So this is the other Primark set, and these are the leggings I'll be taking back. Um, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's like a bulge here, and that's where the seam changes. Um, and this is super tight, and this is like super stretchy. So it's just weird, and it's not squat proof at all. Um, but yeah, I'll be taking these ones back. But the top. Now, the disappointing thing is, obviously, I have to take the leggings back. That's fine. I got the really nice top to match. Oh, and I didn't even realise it has a nice cut out back. So I might just get some black leggings just to go with this, because. This seems pretty nice. I haven't tried this one on yet though, so it could be the same, but it all feels like the same material. And I got this in an extra small and it was £6. I also forgot to mention that all of these pieces that I got from Primark, the gym section, they're all Alice, Alice Living? Yeah, I'm feeling this. It's like a crop top tank top. So I'm excited to wear this. I just need to get some leggings that match it. So I think some plain black ones will do the job. But the top is so nice. I'm keeping this, but I feel like they have designed it to be like a sports bra, but it has no support. So I'll definitely have to put a sports bra underneath, but I'll be keeping this and returning these. And last but not least of this big haul of me realising I spend way too much money is one last pair of leggings from Primark, gym leggings again, and these are a light and dark pink, kind of like, I don't know what kind of print it is, but yeah, you can decide what print it is. I wore these this morning for the gym. And they're so comfortable, they fit great, they are a size 6 to 8, same as the other ones. They stretch, they are squat proof, they're just brilliant. Um, and these are also £10 and these are also the Alice Living collection. So these she's done a great job on, or Primark's done a great job on, and I really like them, so super happy. And last but not least is the Primark leggings in pink. And these ones I'll be definitely keeping because they're just so pretty and squat proof and just comfortable for the gym. So I'll definitely be keeping these ones. So thank you so much for watching this haul, Boxing Day haul or whatever you want to call it. Me basically spending all my money on my student loan just like that. So thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and follow my Instagram, I will leave all links below and all links to all the products I bought in the description. So thank you so much and see you next time.